Today, we're gonna to drive into the center of London. And as you all know, driving in London is very, very expensive. But if Sadiq Khan remains as mayor, it'll be even more so. Let's find out just how much. What I'm doing today is driving from Brentwood to the center of London to see how many of Sadiq Khan's taxes we rack up. So we're now just crossing the border into London. Boom, £5.50, first one. This £5.50 charge applies to anyone who wants to cross the border into London. So that's family, friends, customers, including tourists as well. It means if you run a business in London, your footfall is about to tank. If, of course, we let Sadiq Khan be elected. We are now just approaching the North Circular Road and boom, Sadiq Khan has taken another £12.50 in taxes because he's just turned into an expanded ultra-low emission zone. And of course, it's the poorest people and small businesses that don't have compliant vehicles. In order to expand the ultra-low emission zone, there's going to have to be cameras on every corner. So we're now just crossing the border into the centre of London. Boom. Just crossed into the congestion charging zone. That's £15, seven days a week, up to 10 p.m. All of these charges mean it's cost £33 for me to drive into London. Imagine you're a carer or a plumber. It's £33 before you have any money to take home. All of this when we need to get London moving. So as mayor, I will be reducing or removing all of these charges. We need to rebuild our economy, save people's jobs, get people back to work. We used to have Kentucky night. <laughs> <laughs> we used to buy Kentucky and we used to come in here and it'd be a hundred, we'd just eat and laugh and joke. And it'd be a point where we'd say to young people, you make that relationship so you can then say to them, you know, weeks later, listen, I heard how you, how you, how you have a knife, bruv, trust me. And they would trust you and they would listen. Or you'd say, look, I've got a great idea. Why don't you keep going to school? Why don't we just keep on the school thing just for a little bit longer? All that kind of stuff, you can only have those conversations with people you know. Being a youth worker was the everyday story of helping people to aspire to move beyond our circumstances of coming from a poor background, chasing down jobs, chasing down education, wanting more for themselves. I've been fortunate enough to get into university and somebody I know was murdered. It, it, that's what got me in youth work in the first place. The amount of stabbings and gang warfare, it was a response to that. I wanted to, I wanted to get the kids who were positive away from that. It's a really strange place, Kensington Chelsea. It's one of the loveliest places in the world, but it's a tale of two cities. I, I used to tell people I live on the same road as Madonna. So I lived at one end of Portobello Road and she lived at the other. And it just dawned on me, same road, different world. We were talking about 1990, 91. Came here with Baron, he said, come and be a volunteer. So I came and that's why I started the youth work. I know it isn't big, it isn't flash, there isn't hundreds of computer screens in here, but what is in here is a focus on moving those young people forward. We tangibly kept young people away from crime. We got people out of gangs. We got people into work. We gave them new passions, excitement. We just made this area livable. We were a poor community, but we had projects like this that made it great. We had something special here. Eventually, I was able to set up my generation, which is right here, it's at the base of Trenick Tower. We're here for about eight years. It was life-changing for me and lots of the young people that came through our doors. I helped thousands of young people get a fresh start, move forward. And just like my youth work was about giving people a fresh start, I want to give London a fresh start. Do you want a safer London? The traffic problems are finally tackled? The congestion charge and the council tax hikes reversed. I'm Sean Bailey. I've been a youth worker for over 20 years and I've worked at the highest levels of government, advising on crime and setting up the largest youth program this country has ever seen. I've spent years of experts planning how to solve London's problems. As mayor, I will make our city safer by reopening 38 police stations and hiring 8,000 more police officers. I'll reverse the congestion charge hike and the council tax hike, saving each London household over £300. As mayor, I will make London safer, fairer and more affordable for all of us.